creeps and ghouls. It's time, once again, to open the gates to the squared circle mausoleum. There will be no tricks, only treats here. As our W.L. Wrestling brings you the 10th annual Halloween Brawl. Happy Halloween, everyone. Wally Cardinal here with Johnny Bianco, welcoming you all to the 10th annual Halloween Brawl. We've got a capacity crowd on hand for this one. It all comes down to this moment. Welcome, everybody, as you're looking live at a sold out arena ready to kick things off tonight. Scores will be settled, bodies will be broken, and dominance will be established. And it all starts right now. Let's get this super card off to a good start with the former ladies division champions with the beautiful Helena Troy, set to lock up with Susie Nuclear Campbell. And off to ringside we go. for singles action. Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. And I would say this match will have a big impact on how the other women view these competitors moving forward. Without a doubt, Cole. And given how heated the women's division is right now, even a single loss can set you back considerably. Troy's a former women's world champion, valet to Mr. Hercules, and the second longest reigning women's champ after Dynamite Jeannie Parker. And she's made up her mind. She's going to win this match with Susie Campbell. Wally, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Susie isn't going to be a pushover in this one. Big time singles matches coming up here. But I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. She clearly looks to be in great shape, but Corey, is she mentally prepared for this match here tonight? Well, she better be, because if she's not, I can guarantee that tonight is going to be a very short night for her. Lucy Campbell's been quite a bit here since her 2017 debut. Former women's international champion, former ladies trio champion, captain of Team Nuclear, and she's made a serious study of Helena Troy. Don't look for her to make a lot of mistakes. Both ladies, very proficient in that ring. Let's see where all that power and know-how takes this match. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Up and over with a suplex. skills never cease to amaze me.
And she lands a perfectly executed drop kick. Direct hits like that help put your opponent away fast and early. Playing it a little cocky here. Going all the way up. She's licking her chops. She doesn't want to get up. Flies with the missile drop kick. She's looking a little unsteady. She definitely doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if she wants to be successful here tonight. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. All match long, you can see the pride on her face, which is pretty amazing considering the position she's been in for much of the night. Big reversal for her there. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. This is going to be big one way or another. Incredible! She's got the shoulders down. She dodges that one. She goes for the armbar. Campbell on the defensive. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. This was bound to happen eventually, guys. Her opponent is just too talented to let her walk all over her for this entire match. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Wow, it doesn't get much closer than that. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. And she comes up with a big counter. Oh, this is dangerous right here. She's wasting no time taking over this contest. An early pin attempt. One. And the shoulder's up in time. Tried for it early. Connects with a counter. Will this be it? Three, no! Jeez! I would have sworn that would be it. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. This match is living proof that the Divas of the WWE are so much more than just a pretty smile. Oh man, she's rolling now. She comes up big with the reversal. It's a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here.
she gets in attack mode. Look out. She got her with the drop kick. Can she do it here? Not enough to end this one. Nice kick out there. She's got to find a way to get up here, guys. That won't be easy, Michael, given the beating she's taken so far. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. Now that one well scouted. The end may be near. Side slam. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. This could end it in a hurry. A mammoth slam right there, guys. That should do it. Let me tell you, this could do it. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. Wow, she's going to be tough to beat tonight. Yeah, she just keeps popping up. She might be down for good, guys. Given the punishment she's absorbed here tonight, yeah, I'd agree with that assessment. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. Takes her out with a German suplex. It could be over here. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. I can't believe what we're seeing here. I wouldn't be at all surprised if she doesn't get up here, guys. Yeah, this might just be the end of the line for her. Huge slam right there. She's back in full control now. Shoulders down. This could be it. Two. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Very admirable performance here, but you have to wonder if she's risking permanent injury. Looks like the airways may be blocked. Get in there, ref. She appears to be in complete control of this one. That acrobatic maneuver clearly caught her off guard. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been... This should do it right there. Two! You can put this one in the bank. Here is your winner, Helen A. Troy. What a back and forth battle that was. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. Wow, just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. Helen and Troy with the three count victory over Susie Campbell in one long and violent confrontation. They use up over to thirds of the 15 minute time limit. To be honest, I was almost expecting a draw. But Troy did manage to just outlast Susie Campbell.
moving on right away here, Johnny. Up next, it'll be Legends Division competition. When our WL Halloween Brawl returns in just a few, so please do stick around. We're back, and our next match is a Legends Division collision between the one and only Iron Sheik trying to bring George the Animal Steel to heel. And that ain't no easy job. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tehran, Iran. Weighing in at 252 pounds. Iron She! Without question, one of the all-time greats of the squared circle. Iron Sheik, former bodyguard to the Shah of Iran, multi-time champion. He's battled the likes of Bob Backlund, Hulk Hogan, and a who's who of wrestlers besides. But can he subdue George the Animal Steel? One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. Wally, Chicky Baby usually has the advantage in most of his matches. But tonight, he's going up against a man who's either too stupid or insane to relate to the concepts of fear and intimidation. That gives Iron Sheik that advantage. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 305 pounds, George the Animal Steel. I mean, just look at that, that troglodyte. Iron Sheik can outthink this imbecile every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Big time singles matches on deck here, and Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. My mind's made up on this one. I think Iron Sheik will lock in that camel clutch, and there will be nowhere to go for George Steele. Trouble is, the animal can withstand heaps of punishment, which is what Iron Sheik will have to dish out before he can set him up for the dreaded camel clutch. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. starting to stagger a bit. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's Ooh. getting. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Beautiful technique. We've got to cover a kick out. This one's not over yet. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. Forcefully delivered. Can he 
finish the job. Here he Ooh, kick to the face. I'm not sure how much he has left. Talk about an awe-inspiring finisher, guys. Oh boy, he is rolling. Absolutely spiked. DDT. This might be it, guys. He may very well have run out of gas. I mean, it looks to me like he's almost completely out. I know he doesn't have any quit in him, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to a thunderous slam. That much. He's got the shoulders down. Two. Three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all. Here is your winner, George the Animal Steel. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Impressive doesn't even begin to describe his performance here tonight, Michael. Over. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Well, I guess that shuts me up. Wally, upset three count win for George the Animal Steel. And being as real oh, as I, I can here, this. Iron Sheik just didn't have it tonight. And it cost him this matchup. I really enjoyed every minute of this. When we come back, it's a grudge match between Lars Sullivan and Brenton Quinn Stewart. With both Scott Bell and MJ Ferrantino escalating the war between them. Don't go away. As we continue, MJ Ferrantino has declared full-scale war against a short pump by Scott Bell and his stable. And the next skirmish is a rematch between Lars Sullivan and Brenton Quinn Stewart. A pair of big, bad... No nonsense men, and that always makes for a great match. Add to the mix, the ongoing tensions between the two managers, and no matter who wins here, it's just gonna make things worse between Bell and Ferrantino. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Scott Bell. And from Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. Well, to say he looks ready to get this match started would certainly be understating his eagerness right now. Yeah, the opening bell can't come soon enough for him, Cole. And I must say, I absolutely love seeing so much enthusiasm from him. Lars Sullivan, again, with his career plucked out of the trash can by Scott Bell. But Sullivan has been holding up his end of the bargain by not constantly losing the way he used to. And so far, Sullivan and BQ Stewart stand at one win apiece between their previous two encounters. So let's see how this tiebreaker grudge match goes. And his opponent, accompanied by the scientist, an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Sounds like all of Richmond is in the arena right now. That's how loud it is. There's the suplex. What has to be going through the mind of Lars Sullivan right now? It'll be interesting to see how he plans to get it done. What do you think? 
definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign, Michael. Well, one of these guys is definitely going to make his mark in this division. Which one? Well, that is yet to be determined. Wow, he just slammed him with ease. He has to be extra careful here. An injured shoulder can come right out of the socket. He gets him with the overhand punch. That'll leave your head throbbing for quite some time. He goes to the quick pin attempt. He got body on body there, but that's about it. That would have been a shocker. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. Big miss for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. Damage inflicted with a snapmare. Can't wake up from that one. Lars Sullivan got it there. Stewart forced in defensive mode here. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. This one's still pretty evenly matched, guys. Though, if you went by the size of his ego, you'd think he was running away with it. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. Lars Sullivan nailed it. Check out Lars Sullivan's offense. Flips the script on him there. And Lars Sullivan came down hard there. What a match! Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. His shoulders are down. Well, I thought he had to pin for sure. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. Made him pay there. Hoping to end it here. There's an ear fall. That's all right, Cole. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. counter 
from Lars Sullivan. He is a one-man gang in there. He's going for it all. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has... Income. Headbutt! Oh, what impact! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? What an amazing display of power. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. Ain't no stopping him now. Chaos, melee, pandemonium. I don't know, guys. I really thought we would have seen the finisher already. The unfortunate reality is he might not get up, which wouldn't shock me one bit. Talk about a beating he's taken here tonight. Here comes Larson, the diving headbutt. The end is near. That has got to be it. Lars Sullivan's looking at it. There's the cover. Can he do it? Two! How does he keep doing this? Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Here he goes. With such authority. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. There's the pan. Ken is upon a kick out. Two. And you can put this single match in the books. Here is your winner, Brenton Quinn Stewart. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow. Tino with an air to air Kool Aid smile here as BQ Stewart gets the Duke in this one, leaving Lars Sullivan flat on the mat and counting the ring lights. A whole lot of back and forth momentum shifts in this match. And yeah, Stewart sure did manage to snatch control away from Sullivan at several key points in the match, giving him just enough of an advantage to score the old one, two, three here. This is going to send Scott Bell back to the drawing board as far as his rivalry with Ferrantino goes. Anyway, you got that right, Johnny. Too short was frowning as big as Ferrantino was smiling. Coming up, it's American Powers in a ladies' legend division French match between Patty Powers. Danielle Heathkin and Luna Vashon and Paul Nakano should be a serious hot boiler when we return. As Halloween Brawl continues, it's a return match between Luna Vashon, Ol Nakano, and singles champions Patty Powers and Liberty Bell Danielle Heathcote. And it's Patty and Danielle who insisted on it. Man alive, Johnny. What an imposing presence from Luna and the Bull. They certainly did dominate their last encounter with American powers at Snarl just a week ago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the Bull and Bluey Vashon. That they did. The word backstage is American powers flatly refused to let this go, even if it was only one loss for them. It seems Patty and Danielle are hot to prove that Vashon and Nakano just got lucky last week. 
That's what they're saying. And let's face it, that last match was short, brutal, and probably just a bit embarrassing for a pair of brand new singles champions. They just refused to let it stand. Which is a testimony to the character of American powers. And honestly, they now need to win this return bout in order to redeem themselves because a loss here tonight would prove twice the humiliation. champion Patty Powers and June Grable tournament champ Daniel, and they have been mostly dominant in both their singles and tag matches, with only last week's match putting the tiniest smudge on their record, but from all they've said, even that one little smudge undermines their championship status, which is why they've insisted on this return match, and you're right Wally, this is a must-win situation for them. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. And guys, oh, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. She's starting to take a beating. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Up and down. What a stomp. Good grief. Oof. Clothesline. Well, that'll leave a mark. Ooh, what impact. She's looking a little unsteady. Her opponent's clearly getting the best of her here. Wow. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. Sure, it looks like she probably won't win this match, but that's not going to stop her from trying. She doesn't have an ounce of quit in her. Close quarters. Eludes that one. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Things starting to go the other way for her. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. And you just get that feeling that being outside the ring so much here in this match will eventually come back to haunt her. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Spinning sidewalk slam with authority. Yeah. 
Beautiful technique. Look at her go. Comes up big with the reversal. You've got to believe this one's over. Oh, nasty impact. Oh. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. I think this one's over. Wow, I really expected so much more from her here tonight. It's like she didn't even show up. Tagged in. Escape artist Michael. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room. Look out! There's the tag, and that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Drop kick. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. No, they're not done yet. Not even close. She's still in this one. Showing some quickness there. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. Look out, look out! This could be it! She is on fire! She's looking at it. There have been times in sports of looking for the... So precise with the super kick. That's what makes her so dangerous. Uh -oh. The oh, oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Ooh, what impact. We know what this is. It's a stampede. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a going for the big one. Can she keep her down? Too close for cover. I can't believe she kicked out there. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Oh, man, she's harsh impact. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Putting it all on the line. She's got that gleam in her eyes. Boom, right the button. Oh, man, what a hit. Runs right off the apron. Nailed it. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Boom, what impact! Victory is on the horizon. She might have it. Real close. Too close for comfort. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. No, there's the reversal. She's beginning to take some heat here. You have to wonder how much more she has left in the tank. I don't know. She really doesn't have much reason for concern here. I mean, she's been in control for much of this match. partner has to be concerned at this point. And things look bleak right now. She has to be. Here's a cover. One. Two. Barely at two and a half. Oh, that was close. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. What's going to happen now? A 
suplex. She's got her. This could mean trouble. She's in control. She's looking at it. She wants close line. This is all but Larian. Nice. Shut it down. Look at a nice calf kick. Great elevation. I knew it was only a matter of time. She is on fire. Big reversal for her there. She might have it. Side slam. Wow. What a gritty performance. This time it might end the match. Oh, nasty impact. This could be all she wrote. Which this might be it. Oh, my. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. In position for a power bomb. And that's not a good place to be, Cole. Drop kick! Takes her down with authority. Man, she went down like a ton of bricks that time. Is that one? Boom! <laughs> no reverses it. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to give here soon. And she's back in the ring now. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. I'll tell you what. This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker's School, that's for sure. Harsh impact. Slap! He's able to get out of the way there. Boom! Slam! With authority. Oh, an elbow drop. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. with this superstar told Oh, dropped in the cross face. And there it is, boys. That's one of those moves where you check your extremities upon impact. Look at her go. We have seen her here before. Ring rattling. Now it's time to capitalize. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. Not so fast. A second time. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that.
I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Worth with that one. Take a look. She's taking care well, of business. Well, say goodnight, Gracie. American Power go. set a goal and then steps out to achieve it, getting as solid a win over their business. opponents as their opponents did just last week. With that, and last we close out least, the first part of tonight's Super Card. Lots more ahead when Halloween Brawl continues.